to work. If you give dude, him with it no, no, give him another hand. Oh, Go ahead. Oh, I'm not oh. saying it like that, but I'm just saying if you see dude with another hand, it's gonna be nasty. No, dude gonna really get crazy on niggas. Like, you think it's crazy right now? With one hand? Man, watch dude with two hands. That big gonna be spider man. No, huh? bro. If you I'm I'm not questioning that draft pick after that. That's all I'm saying. I'm questioning the draft pick because I'm thinking like how a coach thinking. Draft pick. Is there another zero. nigga out here with two Boy, hands? Well, I got two hands and I see him get drafted, I'll be I'm sitting there like, well, I'll be there. <laughs> First off, he in college with, with, with one like, hand. Well, you can't damn. tell me there's not a child in the hood right now uh, with two hands that's not fire as fuck that deserve to be on that team. You just turn that bitch off my boy got one hand. I'm not knocking him, and he I would I would never do that because he hooping. Mm. But you can't tell me there's not a child in Florida right now that's yeah. hooping his ass off with two hands that also deserve to be on that team. I give a fuck about that's all that. I'm saying. He on that with that one hand. But my dog getting it with one hand, son. Spinning that bitch on one finger and shit. In the NBA, it's hard the whole for you to get it if you short. Bro, if he make it to the NBA with one hand, I salute him. Because just the, everything that we taught about basketball is you supposed to have two hands. And be Shout tall, out. too. Yeah, and you got to be tall. So my dude said, fuck that. I got one hand. I'm already tall. Let me just use my athletic ability to the best that I can. And if you can't guard this nigga with one hand, that's on you, brother. Because he is good. He good. I'm watching dude make three pointers. I'm watching dude yeah. fucking put the ball between the nigga legs and then go windmill that bitch. But 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 everything he does this good is he like on the move. Once gotta, that cause see you gotta think about it in the NBA, it stalls out. Once it break down and you get into your half court offense, what can you do now? Very true. That's real true. What can you do with somebody guarding you even when the ball not in your what hand? What if you play a nigga like Popovich? Yeah. That don't even full court press you. He's just going to come down and wait for you to come down and see what you're going to do. Yeah? Well, we're going to sit and wait on you. We waiting on that. You put, that a short, you put a short defensive minded guard on him? Things get a little different. Like I said, I, I wouldn't want to see Bradley. You, you put an Avery Bradley on him? I don't want to see dude not make it to the NBA, nah. but of course. no, I don't want to <laughs> see dude not make it to the NBA. What I want to see is him make it to the NBA. So don't people, you think? people with that, people, Avery Bradley still got it. You got to think about how many niggas that got, uh, got one so hand or one finger. That man. that man come out there and show his ass off on y'all. Uh-huh. <laughs> Shout out to me on the last song. You know what I'm saying? OC Chronicle shit. You know what I'm saying? It's your boy Nick So. Lucky Lewis shit. Hollywood. Hollywood. Real Trev. You hear me? You know what I'm saying? Dead ass. And how y'all boss week was, brother? My shit was towed up. You know what I'm saying? Christmas coming up. I know niggas going broke and shit, so I just want to see how y'all Oh, weekend. Lord. My Man. week. <laughs> My Ain't week. no criminal, <laughs> bitch. Ain't no criminal, bitch. Ain't no criminal, bitch. <laughs> My kid's gonna have a good Christmas. Dog, I'm broke as fuck. It's crazy. It's like this Christmas shop and shit, dog. You really gotta do this shit in segments. Or you going to be hurt. Real shit, some after Black Friday shit. Like, but you got to do this shit like. Before Black oh Friday, you got to do that shit all year. Christmas is all your fucking thing, boy, unless you going to fit it in December. <laughs> Say if my gifts ain't appreciated, dog. Say it is, boy. If that bitch ain't come from shit, Amazon, you ain't getting <laughs> shit. If that bitch ain't come from if that bitch ain't come from Amazon, you ain't getting nothing, nigga. I'm not about to go in nobody's store. Shit, if that bitch don't come to my store. doorstep. No. You getting a Christmas card that say Merry Christmas. I, think I heard that from Amazon that if you didn't already purchase yeah, your shit right. a certain date that you're not even getting it by Christmas. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, already yeah. made that statement because yeah. so many people had that shit backed up last year. So, yeah, if you ain't ordered your shit in October, you probably dead already. Yep. In October. <laughs> that being said. <laughs> Don't cor- you know, definitely correct me on that, but yeah, nah, it's some shit to where it's. Yeah. Like if you order your shit right now for Christmas, it's definitely not oh, coming. Oh, it's not coming. Not coming. Nah. 
I already check Amazon the damn fuck. Yeah. I don't really rock with Amazon like that. I, I do, but I don't. Amazon. Man. Nah, I fucks with Amazon. <laughs> I'm about to send some shit. Don't pay me nah, no <laughs> I'm a prime member. I mess with I'm I mess with Amazon for like camera stuff. If I need if I need like SSDs or memory cards and shit like that, yeah. they have that shit way cheaper. Mm-hmm. Like SSDs, yeah, memory cards, shit like you need no, for no, recording. No, no, no tank and no muscle shirts and shit from, from, from Amazon. I be scared. Amazon, Amazon, Amazon be, be scared. On, uh, it, it on some real shit. Tank them the best. Amazon be on some wish shit sometimes. They real? Boy, like no, the one. Amazon no, be on some wish shit. Amazon to give you a fucking tank top me a fucking napkin. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I got a t- I got a pack of tank top for fifty cent, bro. The bitches paper mache like a motherfucker. Damn, you can rip out the bitches like hardcore. Oh, why niggas don't go on wish no more? You Amazon doing wish shit. That bitch Lucci be in the mirror. Hulkamaniacs. Uh, no, <laughs> yeah, Why you tuck your shirt and all your shit done ripped by the fucking neck? <laughs> That should be cheap. I think I watched all the strap pop. That bitch is looking like a wrestler. By the time you pay for <laughs> some quality <laughs> shit on yeah, Amazon. Man, Lilo, oh. By the time you pay for some quality shit on Amazon, it's going to be the price it was in the store. For real. Yeah. Because Probably the cheap shit really be breaking fast. Like I, bought, I bought a camera battery. I'm like, ooh, this bitch a dual charge and everything. Man, that bitch overheated on the second rip. <laughs> oh, burnt, burnt the you know? battery a little bit. I ain't really been going to the stores that much. Like, how the COVID shit is in the stores. So I know man, them yeah, stores normal like a motherfucker, boy. Yeah. Them motherfuckers don't give a fuck. I was just going to spend some money. Well, that's here. Without the bags, with the Y'all got to remember. That's, y'all got to remember that's here in Louisiana. My brother in LA is not experiencing the same thing. Yeah, right. So what, what right. you got going on? You got to mask up, brother. Like, they not playing. Like, right. look at the Rams, bro. They had they almost forfeited the game because they didn't have enough players to play the game because they yeah. had niggas that's on COVID protocol. But no, that's not even Louisiana. Like, New Orleans is a little more strict than the West Bank. Yeah, no, the West, definitely. All these parish. We living like how we was living before COVID. I ain't going to even Nobody fuck. got a mask on. <laughs> we, Everybody we thug it, yeah, we. Nigga ain't using no condoms. Well, West Side yeah. till we die. We like, hey, <laughs> hey, I just went to the movies. I just went to the movies today. I went to go see Spider-Man. In five? The oh, movies five. packed. We elbow to elbow in that <laughs> bitch. Ain't nobody got a mask on. What? <laughs> yeah, real talk. We I'm elbow to elbow in the movies. It ain't nobody out of man. No though. seats left, huh? Damn, no you, seats hey, left. Yeah. West side yes. till we die. I mean, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I had people in that car. <laughs> Beat the shit out of the fucking movie. Hey, every time, hey, yeah, the, a dude on the road behind us was coming. Every time a dude called, our whole room was like, no. <laughs> Bitch, don't look back. <laughs> you done came to the movies. Yeah, so now we ridiculing niggas for coughing and sneezing? Yeah, yeah, fuck that's right. <laughs> so you can't call the sneezing or stole in no public area, bro. They, son. With no mask on? Boy, you what? Clutching. Niggas clutching. You clutching. 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 Yeah, That's crazy, put you bro. Out. I work in a warehouse now. One motherfucker wear a mask. Like we, are, none of us don't Shit. wear a mask. I work in a plant. No, the department we work in, bitch, you wear a mask, you gonna mad. die anyway. It's too fucking hot. Yeah, we we don't we don't fuck around with that shit. That that shit like cancel some NFL games and shit like that. But I know you were saying that you don't really think that that shit was that Denver shit was a little different. The Denver shit to me got a little bit more into it to me. Like, I feel like they canceled that game. Maybe it could be because of COVID. It is a little spread of this shit going on, I guess. But I feel like at the same time, they had a court case with the dude, well, 26-year-old, um, I believe he hit um, a bus that had some kids. He killed over 100 people, 100, 100 people total. It wasn't 100 children, but it was, it was about 100 people total, and they gave a 26-year-old with a new CDL license um, 110 years in prison. A lot of the truckers in the Union of Colorado f- didn't feel that that was, you know, justice. Yeah. So they wherever they was, they parked. They wasn't moving, no matter what for what company that they worked for. Dude worked for FedEx Freight. They went on strike for him. And they went on strike for him. No matter if they worked for Sire, um, yeah, even if Yellow, that wasn't the total reason why that was a big reason why they canceled that game for sure. So I think that was one of the other reasons why they canceled that game. But I do know for like Cleveland, places like that up north, they have a lot a high uh, dense population. 
they are having issues with COVID. So is New York. They're having a, like a little quick outbreak right mm-hmm. now. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's places that's densely populated. We not that populated. Yeah, they like said that. the NFL had 100 niggas test positive in like three days. Teams are finding out by the minute yeah. that niggas got fake yeah. vax cards for sure. Yeah. Y'all got the fake yeah. vax cards. Y'all getting real COVID. What? Real COVID. Antonio Brown uh, blew the spot up. Blew Y'all been uh. mad to me. I'm going to show you. But look. <laughs> no, let me, oh, some I hate shit, that it though, was Antonio you know? Brown. No, no, that, no. It was he, some other he made shit. it hot though. Yeah, it was some other shit. He ain't pay like the chef, and then the chef ran it. Some shit like that. But oh, also some other man. shit. That boy Kyrie, first person I ever could remember heard of. All that dude about to be in the NBA part time. Yeah, part time. Part time. Part time. Play away games. Part time. He gonna play away games. Some of them too. Some of them can't even play. He gonna play some away games. No. Basically, man. he worked when he feel like it. You well, know what I mean? <laughs> NFL too. The NFL has a rule as well. Yeah, because if, the Barclays yeah, Center, I put it like this. Know. In the Barclays Center, you have to be vaccinated. Yeah. So he not, plays for Brooklyn play who play in the Barclays Center. So he ain't playing He home. can't play at home at all. That's crazy. And he That's could play at some away games if they allow unvaccinated people. Like he could play down here. So you feel the same way about the NFL rule? He can't play down here? I'm thinking West Bank. He can't play in all yeah either. Not in Orleans yeah, Parish. Can't Ooh. play in Orleans Parish. NFL got the rule where if you vaxxed, you could come back quicker. Yeah. So yeah, you come back if quicker. you on COVID they protocol. Got trying to get vaxxed though. And I was explaining this earlier. So COVID protocol in the NFL, they're basically saying if he I have around. COVID he and Hollis around. Locker is next to mine, he's on protocol. Yeah. I'm out. They could test protocol. him for game day and he could be good. Yeah. So COVID protocol does not mean this nigga got COVID. It mean he was it around somebody who had. He rode home with dude. He went to the club. They was hanging mm-hmm. out. Some shit. All they right. was together. Yeah, so bro, all they gotta have is like I two negative it, tests or something. I thought they meant they had basically. Some shit like that. So they're gonna test him for every practice. So yeah. if he come for Wednesday practice, Ingram gonna get tested for that practice. If his if his uh, temperature is down, cool, he can go practice. Yeah. If his temperature is down for the Thursday practice, he can go practice. Now, Friday is when the, these NFL teams report how many times each player went to practice because of fantasy and ESPN and shit like that. So they got to report to these people like, okay, dude missed two practices. Two practices mean you probably not going to play. Mm. He's made both practices. He's ready to play. His temperature is not up. He's out of COVID protocol. So they got a whole guideline of how they doing this shit. But that shit changed this week. Mm. How y'all think that shit going to affect the playoffs? Man, I don't think the NFL they, is going to allow that to affect the playoffs. They ain't going to do what they did last time, if that's what you're asking. Yeah. They ain't shutting the league down no more. Nah, they're not doing that again. They're not doing that. But the I Raiders really is like, mad. Yeah, and that that COVID shit, shit could really fuck up games, though. Oh, it did. Because the Seahawks... Fuck up games for real. I don't know if y'all know this, but the Seahawks is very pissed off about this game not being played. Mm. The Seahawks have a shot to get into the playoffs. So they're basically saying, play the ball as it lie, nigga. You hit it like that. You got to right. play it where it lands. And, 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 uh, and see, with the NFL well, specifically, I agree the because like the NFL Because it happened like that. All they had no quarterback. It, they play through all these injuries. They lose. They start at lead. All this. Don't nothing get postponed. What's the difference between COVID? It's, a, it's the same thing. Well, if somebody true. get the flu, y'all still going to play? Y'all still going to play. So, so basically y'all, y'all should they, they should still play what it Unless like you don't me, have enough players Point what, blank If you got what, enough players You should play That's what happened with the Rams They had They had They had only 28 players From the real roster Ready Meaning They gave a uh, Pretty much like They came to the league Like yo This our case Like we not ready to play Like we got niggas We got to pull off The practice squad They don't even know The scheme that we running they not even no, on the second or third. That's not an excuse. So the NFL rules that. Look at, the, look at the, your team. Though. I got I got I two examples. You. I got I two examples. Trev, San Francisco, and the Ravens. The Ravens ain't have no running backs. None. They lost every single one. Well, Nixo just last, said last it too. When we played the Broncos. We played the Broncos. Broncos, the Broncos didn't have a quarterback. The last time that nigga played quarterback, he was in high school. Yeah. This nigga was a, like a backup receiver playing quarterback. They pulled the third string receiver to come play quarterback, and we beat the shit we out of him. beat the shit out of Now, him. Sean Payton didn't let up, but I hey, don't know what game y'all talking about. I think he was like number two or something, the yeah. black dude. 
The black dude. Beat the shit out of him. You got to yeah, play the hard. ball <laughs> as in live, <laughs> brother. You got to play the ball as in live. You canceling games. It's like, you know. So it's yeah, to, to right. me. You dictating games all of a sudden. It shit. feel like to me you yeah. trying to protect your asset. Like, yeah. you, you trying to protect your brand. And I, and I, I get that. Like, you got a billion dollar brand. You got one of the biggest, probably the biggest sports brand in the world. Yeah. So I understand why you would want to baby that shit and protect it. But at the same time. You are taking niggas' lives in account of this. Mm -hmm. Like, you got teams like the Seahawks who actually have a shot. Their quarterback got hurt. He came back. They lost games. They looking at the Rams like, fuck y'all. Our quarterback broke his fucking finger and came back. We lost games and we rolled that shit out till he came back. Why y'all can't do that? Y'all niggas got hurt. Y'all niggas got sick. Y'all got to play football just like we did. Mm -hmm. So I do feel... The Seahawks, like, really upset about not being able to play the Rams at full potential and beat these niggas. Because I will be the same way. Like, fuck y'all. My quarterback was hurt. Speaking of off days, how about Urban Meyer getting fired on his day off on some crazy? shit? He deserved it, bro. <laughs> he kicked that fucking man. He deserved it, bro. Well, he thought he was that still in kick college. The kicker. He oh, thought he man. thought he still was in college, bro. How you kick a kicker? You thought you could punk these men like they was... 19-year-old, 20-year-old dudes that's yeah, surviving off of ramen old, noodles. Yeah. Yeah, no. Bro, I don't think, I don't, I really don't think at the end of the day, coaching, players win games, bro. Like, like you said, players been playing football since they were six years old. So I don't think you could blame the success of a team or the failures of a team. On, I disagree. Play calling, play calling, play calling matter. I Luigi. believe that morale is, all, morale is held in the locker room. I don't think a coach got nothing to do. Like, if your players... Your players fuck with your players. If you if if, if the players Luchy. got the locker room, bro. Perfect example. Take a, take a, That's not true, Nick Sue. Yeah. That like we've been working jobs our whole life, and for different type of uh, supervisors, we'll work better or worse. I, and I, I agree with that. But I'm gonna tell you this: like he said, a good coach. Look at the team the Saints got, but we still are being talked about right now, and we suck. We, we playing. We are playing with third string and practice players, bro. But we are in the hunt to be I in a playoff like spot. Like, and that's from you, coaching. But, hey, but no, but you be told Sean like Payton got, got a little Urban Meyer in him. Too. He got a little Urban Meyer in him, but guess what? His oh, players sure. want to play for him. But I think that's got a lot to do with the players in the locker room, bro. Yeah. The culture. He it's built the culture. You got to know who the coach, who you, who you got. Ah. He built the culture. If you play for Sean Payton and you on a 52-man roster, it's 50, a shot that you might play tonight. 53. 53. You don't. You, don't, you, don't you might play tonight. You don't coach I, I can't LeBron. do math when I'm high. You don't coach LeBron. Y'all know I don't do math when I'm high. That nigga's that nigga's math. Yeah. You don't coach LeBron how you coach Clay Thompson. Not at all. It's two different coaches. Not at all. So Not with that being said, cool. it's different type of people. It's different type of locker rooms. You know what I'm saying? And some people they already leaders, so you just guide them in the right way. Some people they need you to start from scratch, but you can't treat leaders like you start from scratch. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Facts. You can't you can't take a, a college coach who hard and get in everybody's face and make I, him coach the Lakers. I, 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 you know what I'm saying? So, Facts. so no, 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 I get that. Just to stay on that, how you feel about Deion Sanders? I love Deion. That's, Deion. that's a that's that's a hard coach that'll get up in your face too. And but they, they want to play for him. Like he said. The number Deion, one recruit just decommitted and just committed to Jackson. But see, that's the difference. You talk about a player coach. He in touch with the player. That's like LeBron becoming a coach. Yeah, LeBron can get in my face because he's LeBron and he's coaching me. Yeah, you This is he, Deion. He, he done this if you before. If you are a DB, yeah. Deion is a de- defensive back guy. Hey, y'all yeah. seen Deion bring so a girl to the locker That's a whole nother thing. But you talk about some old, fat, cheesy white man trying to tell me how to do my job. And you telling me wrong. You telling me in a disrespectful way. I don't want to hear nothing you got to say. Right. Because first of all, you disrespecting me. And right. you don't know the game. You, you didn't play the game. Q, what's dude's name that committed? So it's different. So D.I. D.I. could get in your face because he did that. You know what I'm saying? That's like that's like, that's like like an old head. You know, like, let's say Pull him up, streets. Q. Let's give him a shout out. Travis what? Shout out to Travis Hunter. Travis, Travis Hunter, Hunter, man. Travis Hunter. Shout out to Travis Hunter, number one recruit. Number one. Went to HBCU. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the one who went to um, Went to HBCU. Jackson. We need to see more of that. We need to see more of that. Go start right. going to these HBCUs where a school that's going to support you and give you everything you need. You and then, support ironically, system. didn't he flip on Florida State? Flipped on Florida State. Not Florida State. Head, Florida, he State. Head, he head on the floor. Florida State is where Dion went. Yeah. So, but he wanted to go where Dion at. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now that's yeah. real. That's real. Yeah, that's Deion Sanders actually he actually uh he interviewed for the Florida State job and they didn't give it to him. So he got a lot of that on his chest too. Oh, so yeah. he he really out for blood. Told him to do it. Yeah. Said, man, I thought I had but, that. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. tell y'all yeah. something. Yeah. 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 This is how this is how in touch Dion is with his players. Oh girl that got over on the dude in the NBA. He bought in. He brought Brittany in. Rainer. He bought in. And she told he her story. I'm out to, coach players. to get you niggas. Yeah. Like, I am literally out praying on niggas like y'all. She told him straight and basically, up. basically, he bought her in to tell him, like, watch out for women like this. And then he did it in a way where he didn't disrespect Dis- her. Disrespect her. And she had no shame. He treated her with respect and still put his players on game with it. No, she ain't, she ain't had no shame. She told him straight up, like, look, I'm not looking for what y'all think I'm looking for. Like, you got money and that's what I want. Right. I'm looking to live a certain lifestyle. And that's what she was trying to convey to them. I'm living a lifestyle. I, I'm not trying to get after directly in your pockets or your money, but I do want to live and be comfortable in a certain way. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. I don't want to have, I want to be kept, is what she was saying. So, Dion was saying, if you don't want a woman like this, this is what you want to stay away from, kind but not in a disrespectful way. He respected the woman. And see, a lot of people like, bitch, you a fucking hoe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah man. But you ain't even, you ain't, ain't got to do all that. You it's ain't gotta a, do all a, that. A, Just know what you know what you should do and what you shouldn't. It's you a ain't new gotta game. Disrespect it. Just stay away from it if you if that ain't what you want. Bro, if she came out there and sat on the chair and told you, then you, yeah, you need to know talking. better. And it's crazy because when <laughs> she walk in, they going crazy like oh, ooh. like you know what I'm saying. They going crazy looking at her. Then she not basically told them like, yeah, I see you looking, but this ain't what you want, bitch. I'm gonna break you. Let's move away from football <laughs> a little bit. I don't want to get this off my chest. So there was a few podcasts ago where we were talking about rap beef being real or fake. What y'all feel about that that Drake and Kanye beef? I think we talked about we talked about that. We, we talked about, about that. that. But they Man, squashed that beef. I told you that shit was fake. I, I said mean, it was fake. I believe I said it was fake. I said they probably they probably called each other it on the wasn't, phone. Like, it wasn't ooh. fake. But they still but it's just like, okay, so okay. I think they did it for maybe numbers. the second mm, Do you think that, that shit is done for clicks? Yeah. I feel no. like publicity listen, sells. Listen, 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 listen. Publicized drama. Listen, I really feel like it was a real beef. When I say beef, I don't mean street beef. I mean music beef. I feel like it was a real beef. But by them maximizing the beef while it was in it, it made it look like it was fake. But it wasn't fake. It was a real music beef. They just maximized it while it was in it. And then after the fact, bitch, we beefing for nothing. Fuck it. <clears throat> Zach, I I, I hey, feel like Lucia. I understand what you're saying. Works. You know what I'm saying. Uh, and it, it 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 very well could have been some shit like that. I but the like way that paid. shit came off and it was conveyed, it was like some WWE shit. Like hey. you building me up for WrestleMania, nigga. Like you want me to pay this pay per view money. Basically. Like that's what you're trying to get me to do right quick. And yeah, we gonna pay it. We cause we want hear what's going on, whether we like the album or so, not. So okay, okay. So was the Meek and Drake fake? No. They I don't, just maximized it. It I don't was think not it, fake. And they I don't think it was fake. I don't think it was fake, but at a certain point, I think both of them niggas knew we making bread. Uh, duh. That's what I'm saying. They and then at that point, it's no more beef. I think at that they meet they met each other and was like, yo, we after making bread. After the fact. After the fact. Yeah, after all their projects drop, then they make up. But that don't mean it was fake to start. I'm that mean it just was like, bitch, we done beats for nothing. We done moves. <laughs> we done both came nigga. up. Fuck it. Not even saying I'm beefing <laughs> with you. I'm not even about it. <laughs> I'm not even talking about no. It's Say, it's it's I'm not talking about me, me came up. Drake came up. All right, let's let this shit go. Let's do a song together. And maybe that's why I wouldn't be a successful rapper. Because <laughs> I guess, I Hold mean, on, that, that like. both made them. Nick's so sad. So, same thing. Kodak and Young Boy, Niggas them boys was beefing for man, real. Man, that's some fake shit. <laughs> Kodak and Young Boy was really beefing. Kodak said, "Bitch, we beefing for nothing. Now they ain't beefing no more." No. Niggas say that every day. Ain't that that simple with certain niggas though, bro? Yeah. Certain. Say that too. Niggas that got blood no split, yeah. spell, we spill. We ain't beefing no you more at all. That nigga come up missing. I told y'all we was not beefing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I do missing. We, I love him. we friends as <laughs> Look, last week before dude went missing. Look. Matter of fact, we're gonna cut that. I'm sorry about that. We're gonna cut that part. We definitely cut Look, that part. 
I'm not against I'm not against hip hop beef that because that's where I it started. No smoke. You know, like hip hop beef and battling, like we wouldn't even have rapping if it wasn't for rap battling. Like that's that's the origination of it. We so I'm not against that. that shit. I'm just saying <laughs> some of it come off a little corny. We can't have that down here in New Orleans. Mm-mm. No. You gonna die when you, you leave gonna that die. stadium. Mm-mm. Oh, 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 everything. Unfortunately, Man, you said the wrong thing and, right there. In our city, you shit. are unable to have a rap beef because a rap beef you turns into that. a real street beef. But, you can't do but that. Wayne and Jay had a thing. But that was rap shit. It that was wasn't a, no it street was a shit. rap beef. It was a rap beef. Yeah, but it was it, it was more Drake of the street shit. It, it, it was more street shit. Wayne and Jay was, hey, was over who was Wayne the best rapper. Drake, alive. Best rapper alive. Wayne, Wayne, only Wayne, way Wayne. is not only way is some street shit if some bullets done fly. If ain't no bullets fly, it's rap beef. Right. Drake and Meek, rap beef. Yeah, Drake, yeah, well, we knew that. Rap but Wayne beef. and Jado, that was like and no, and no that bullets fly. Violet Quando. Not no rap beef. Yeah, but bullets ain't no, that fly. Ain't no bullets flying from Canada. Ain't no well, he ain't that you know of. He that ain't that ain't I know of. Know. Yeah, I don't you know, know who all the sending hits. You right. You I don't know. 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 I don't know. You got the Houston hat on. You might know Jay Prince. I don't know. Six though. What you know of? There's a lot of six guys. Six guys. Yeah, it's a lot of things. Six views is different. Yeah. My bad, Drake. Don't kill me. I got yeah. kids. I just bought you a kitten. Hey, that boy Kanye GD. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, man. I just bought a kitten. Don't kill me. Look, hey, it's God. Christmas. Don't snipe me. I got shit to live for. All right, I got this. Who do you think are the hottest rappers out right now? I'm not I'm listening to man. rap right now, and I can tell you right now, no cap. Is probably the one of the most popular rappers young boy, right now. And, I, and I, young boy. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just say him right now. Just. I'm gonna say no cap and young boy and Travis Scott. Young boy, yeah. See, we Travis Scott is popular. Oh, Travis Scott, nah, I wouldn't even call him. He's popular, him a but it's for the wrong yeah. reasons. It don't matter. It, I mean, he may be in negative publicity, <laughs> but he's still uh, popular. Well, well, I see Roddy Rich number one right now on the, on the, on the Billboard. Wow. Nah, number one uh, nigga right now is no cap. No, it's not the number one. No, on number the, one. On, on, I thought number one was Juice World. No, Juice World number two. What's going on? Roddy Rich number one. Hey, Cap. I'm looking at the wrong charts. I don't know Let's go. Hold on. Charts. I thought Juice World was on, number on. one and Young Boy ah. and Birdman oh, were number on. two. No, they number three.